Ever since the James Webb Space Telescope was launched in December 2021, all eyes have been on it. Everyone all over the world is eager to see the very first images of the universe that will be released, as we're yet to discover more and more universes. However, something unfortunate happened recently. Not so long ago, the James Webb Telescope was slightly damaged. Because of these damages, people are concerned about whether the telescope will continue along with its mission or whether its results will not be the same. But what really happened? Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at the James Webb Space Telescope's slight damage as we try to figure out what effect this damage has on the massive telescope. But before we go any further, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that, let's take a look at the James Webb Telescope. In some ways, the last place that you would want to leave something as expensive as the James Webb Telescope is somewhere where it could be damaged by anything. For example, if you owned a car that was worth $10 billion, there's no way that you would leave it out in a hailstorm. Space is not that friendly when it comes to flying objects. There are a lot of micrometeoroids, which are basically high-speed debris that are as small as dust grain. However, they move at such high speeds that they can even cause some destruction somewhere. Each day, there are millions of these micrometeoroids raining down on Earth. But thanks to our atmosphere, they always incinerate even before they reach the surface. The James Webb Telescope has been placed about 1.6 million kilometers from Earth. And out there, there's no protection of any kind. So far, NASA and other space companies have reported that in about a week, the mirror which is the heart of the space telescope has already collided with tiny space flecks about five times. However, the last one was the one with the most damage, but it can be corrected. Before we find out about how NASA has decided to deal with the damage, let's first look at the telescope itself. The James Webb Telescope's mirror is unlike any other piece of engineering out there. It measures about 6.5 meters wide, and it's made up of 18 hexagonal segments. Each of these segments can be moved along seven different axes, allowing the controller to focus on the overall instrument. With all the segments, which are all made of beryllium, are measured together, they have a total area of 25 square meters. Each of these segments is covered with reflective gold. This coating is so thin that if it were to be peeled off and tamped down into a sphere, it would almost be the size of a golf ball. On the other hand, the beryllium is polished so smoothly that if it were to be expanded to the size of the US, its biggest imperfection would be about 7.6 centimeters. That's some pretty expensive hardware to leave out in the open and unprotected. Before the massive space telescope was launched, NASA scientists simulated some collisions on the ground. However, what even makes the most recent collision troubling is that they never anticipated a collision with such an impact. Lee Feinberg, a Webb Telescope optical manager, gave a statement regarding the collision saying, with Webb's mirror exposed to space, we expected that occasional micrometeoroid impacts would gracefully degrade telescope performance over time. This one is larger than our degradation predictions assumed. After the collision, NASA admitted that there was a noticeable effect on the telescope's data, but it would not really affect the mission's performance. They said that the impact will in no way ruin the surprise factor of the telescope's first views of the cosmos which are expected to be released to the public on July 12th. The collision occurred sometime between May 23rd and May 25th. Even though it knocked one of the gold-plated mirrors out of alignment, it did not change the telescope's orbit. According to the experts, it will be fully operational shortly. According to some analysts, the impact caused the mirror segment known as C3 to have a dimple. NASA said in a statement that after some assessments, they found that the telescope will still perform better than expected. However, they still are running some tests and analysis to make sure that it's fully functional. When NASA was building the telescope's mirrors, they made sure that they engineered them to withstand any form of bombardment with dust-sized particles, which are flying at some extreme speeds in space. The telescope has even been regarded as the most powerful observatory in space that's ever been built, if you compare it with previous telescopes and observatories that have been launched. 
It's been built with a whole collection of sensors and 18 gold-plated mirror segments that are all working together to capture the distant planets. The engineers made sure the telescope could withstand some occasional impacts from micrometeoroids during some of the predicted meteor showers that would occur near Webb's location in space. However, NASA said that the micrometeoroid that damaged the telescope was not from a meteor shower. The U.S. Space Agency even said that it was an unavoidable chance event. Because of this, NASA has brought a team of engineers to study some of the ways in which they can protect the telescope from future impacts. Not so long ago, sometime before the telescope had a collision, NASA said that the release of the James Webb Telescope's first full-color images would be a unique moment for us all to stop and marvel at the view humanity has never seen before. As the engineers and officials were setting up the telescope, they released a set of engineering images that demonstrated that the telescope was working perfectly and all the hardware was as it should be. Some of these images were of a slightly different view of the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a small satellite galaxy in our beloved Milky Way. However, it is not yet known what the first full-color image will be of and what it will look like. This even keeps things more mysterious than they already are. For the past six months, the telescope has been going through a preparation stage before it can finally start exploring the vast universe. All of its instruments were being calibrated to suit the space environment as the mirrors were being aligned. It was first launched on December 25, 2021, before it later settled into orbit about 1 million miles away from our planet. When the telescope was being launched, scientists hoped that it would serve as a replacement for the Hubble telescope, which is 32 years old. They also hoped that the telescope will be able to explore as far as 13.5 billion years ago, a point within a mere 100 to 200 million years of the Big Bang. The telescope's main mission is to study the early universe as it helps scientists understand how the universe came to be as we know it now. It will most likely be analyzing objects throughout the cosmos, which range from galaxies to exoplanets. NASA has confirmed that the telescope is now at full power and ready to begin its science mission. Once each of the instruments on the James Webb Telescope has been calibrated, tested, and given the green light by the science and engineering teams, the first images and spectroscopic observations will finally be made. The team will then proceed through a list of targets that have already been pre-selected before the images are processed to be released to the public. Compared to the iconic Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Telescope is about 100 times more powerful. It has enough power to observe some of the objects that are very far away, meaning that it even has the capability to look back in time. This is a power unlike any other telescope out there. As much as the telescope collided with a micrometeoroid, it has the ability to defend itself. NASA can now forecast the approach of micrometeoroid showers, and the telescope can then be moved to position its mirror away from the direction of the incoming debris. However, there's no denying the fact that as the telescope continues to explore deep space, it will definitely be tattooed over and over again by some high-speed dust and grains. But even as it goes through all of that, it will definitely send back some groundbreaking observations. What do you think of the collision and how it will affect the telescope? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on what's going on in space. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.